saw a guy go down here with a big old adventure KTM bike fully loaded. Washed out bad, what it was a couple years ago.
right here. Last time that came through here. Wasn't too bad, eh? Oh, not bad. We're going back up, though, it's a little harder. Yeah, for sure. Especially up towards the top. You want to be going this way here. Yeah, that's why I want to check. I got to be careful here. Uh, so it wants me to go. Oh, shit. It wants me to go that way. Right down here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see. So if I follow the blue road, it's that way, you're right. Yeah. yeah, if I go this way, I end up going all the way around, don't I? Yeah, yeah. So this is good from here down, isn't it? Yeah, this is good. This is all, it's all road like this. And uh, I was gonna stop and point the way to that. Oh, I went place, by it, didn't I? That place where you want, might want to camp. Yeah, it looks a little far, far out of town. Once I got a few beers in me and stuff, I like about a five, 10 minute ride. Shut her down for the night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. You and I came from uh, Gateway. I must... You came from Gateway today? No, no. It's uh, two days ago. Ah. Uh, yeah, I just pinned it the whole fucking way, man. It, that John's Canyon was so yeah. great. You know, it was so bitching. Have you been to a Telluride yet? Yeah, yeah. Th those passes are amazing. Uh, well, oh, yeah, all the passes. I rode all that shit in Silver... I, I base camped at Silverton. Yeah. And then from there... Uh, so two are closed right now. Imogene and Black Bear are closed. They had landslides oh. from the rain two weeks ago. So the only one you can use right now is Opre? Opre? Yeah, Opre or yeah. something like that. Oh, fuck, it was carnage when I came through there yesterday. There was an African twin uh, fell over, busted his casing open, leaked all his oil out. Another guy in a BMW blew his clutch out. I blew a side wall, another guy blew a front tire. That that jagged rock. You know, that that's that's about the last half a mile before the top is yep, where it's yep. gnarly. Well, what, la, I was through there uh, a couple years ago and there was a wrecker truck pulling a great 
big beamer up, dragging it up the rocks because the guy went off and he went down about 300 feet, no shit. No he, way. Oh, he ended up going to the hospital. But anyway, when I got there, this guy's going, and this beamer's going, and you know how bad them rocks are? They're that thing horrible. must have been totally shredded. On a, by big, on a big bike like that, yeah, if you stop to let a Jeep come by, you can't get going again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that would be perfect. I got one of these at home too. Yeah, yeah. But I came from Canada, so uh, this is my bad boy for a big trip. <laughs> so you rode all the way from Canada, yeah. yeah? Yeah. Camping out all the way, yeah? Yeah, and then I've got a, uh, I've got a 350 four-stroke KTM with a camper. It sounds like yours. It's a pop-up. And I put a really nice rack on the back for my mountain bike and my motorbike. And then it's wow. got a platform for my barbecue. All right. So I can get into my camper sideways because I've got about a patio about that big before my motorbike and my bike. Perfect. Hey, I got a Canadian Northern Light camper. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. Canadian Northern Light made in my hometown. Yeah, yeah, Northern Light. Great, man. I've been living in it for seven years. It's been bitching. Shit, I can't complain, man. So they're from Kelowna where I live. Yeah, yeah, no the shit. factory burnt down about ten years ago. Yeah, I read about that. I yeah, was at the fire. I've got a North Star. I think it's made down here somewhere. But well, right on. I'm gonna head down into town. I'll let you go first. Okay, I'll stop that road and point it out. Yeah. Oh, it's still coming up down here. Yeah, yeah, it's coming up down here. Yeah, just point it out. That'd be good. Okay. <laughs>